Hello, this is Professor Urbiswag. Today we are going to learn how to solve systems of equations using a method called substitution method. And we are only going to do systems that involve two variables only. Alright, I'll just go over the steps first and then we are going to follow these steps. First step, pull either x or y from one of the equations. Just pull it, x equals or y equals. The second one. You're going to take that equation that you pulled the variable out and put it into the second one. That way you're going to have one equation only with one variable in it. Then you're going to go solve for that variable. And then substitute it back, that variable that you solve for, into one of, one of the equations. Especially the one that you um, pulled the x or y out and then solve for the other one. So let's see how this works out. Let's say we have a situation where y equals 3x and y equals negative 3x minus 6. The first step is either pull x or y out of one equation. And guess what? Here, it's already pulled out, so I don't have to do anything. That step is done. Second step. Substitute that into the second equation. Okay, fine. y is 3x. So, here's my second equation. So, instead of y, I can put 3x. And then it says solve for that variable. Okay. I'm going to add 3x on both sides. I have 6x equals negative 6. Well, divide both sides by 6. You end up with x equals negative 1. So I solved for one of the variables. Now substitute it back to the equation. What was my equation? This very first one. That's the easiest. y equals 3x. So I can put negative 1 instead of x. And I get negative 3. So what's the answer? Solution. The x coordinate. And the y coordinate. Done. You can actually check your answer by putting it into both equations and see it works. Let's do another one. y equals 2x plus 1, y equals 2x minus 1. What's the first step? Pull one variable out of one equation. So let's, that's done already. So I'll take the second equation and I'll substitute the first one into the second one. y equals 2x plus 1. So instead of y, I'll put that. And the right-hand side, I'm not going to change. Well, let's solve for that. For x. Uh-oh, there's a problem here. The x has disappeared, and I got 1 equals negative 1. Is that possible? That's not possible. You're right. So... I cannot make it work because that will never happen. It will never be, one never will be negative one. So what does that mean? No solution. So when you end up with a situation where the left of the equation and the right of the equation do not match, then you say no solution or empty set. Let's try this example. Pull one of the variables out. Here it is. It's pulled out already. Now I'm going to write the second equation. 2y equals 4x plus 2. And instead of y, I'll put 2x plus 1. So instead of y, I'm substituting 2x plus 1. And right-hand side, I'm not going to change. Let's foil it in. Guess what? No matter what I do, the left and the right of the equation is the same. What's that mean? You actually didn't have two equations. You only had one. And the left and right is always true. When the left and the right match, your answer is infinitely many solutions. So you have infinitely many um, ordered pairs that satisfy that equation. Okay, let's do one other problem. y equals 3x, 2y minus x equals 5. Here's the first equation, it's already done for you. 
So let's put it in the second one. So I have 2y minus x equals 5. Instead of y, I will put 3x. And solve for x. This one is 6x minus x equals 5. 6x minus x is 5x equals 5. Divide both sides by 5. x equals 1. Now that you have x equals 1, go back to that equation I circle and put 1 in there. You'll end up with 3. What's the solution? Your xy. x is 1, y is 3. And you're done. Now, if your equation does not have y equals or x equals, you're going to have to pull that out using algebra first and repeat the same exact step.